Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about the case against busy. Are you ready? Let's get started. You've been in this conversation. Hey, how are you doing? Man, I'm busy. Hey, how have you been? Uh, busy. Well, you've been on both sides of those conversations and you've been a third party listening to those conversations. And what I really want to do is talk to you about that word busy, that four letter B word that's in those two pieces of dialogue, right? What do you notice when you hear someone say that they're busy? Here's what I notice. I notice that when one person says they're busy, the other person commiserates. Oh man, I know exactly what you mean. I've been super busy too. And I notice that sometimes when we say that, we're sort of hoping that the other person will commiserate and it kind of gives us a free pass because maybe we haven't gotten something done for them or in our life, we haven't got something done. So it's, it's kind of a free pass. Here's the real thing. I believe that the word busy is meant to be an excuse and we use it <laughs> because it seems to work. So I'm here today to build the case against busy. I'm here today to help you banish the B word. And I'm going to give you five reasons why we should banish the B word, why we should banish the word busy from our lips and from our heads. And here are those five reasons. Number one is we don't need excuses. We need results. So most of us don't love someone who's making excuses. It just happens that busy ends up being a socially acceptable one. Right? So let's be clear about that. What you really want is results. So let's not make ourselves up into a situation where we're in the excuse making business. Second, busy doesn't get things done. Focus does. On the days when you are most productive, you are highly focused. And on those days you're busy, but you're not frantic. You're not bouncing around, you're focused on what's most important and you're getting more done. And we should banish the B word because busy doesn't get things done. Priorities do. Yeah, on those days when you are busy, you figure out the most important things. You do focus on them, but you get very clear on what those things are. You have clear priorities and you get more accomplished, not because you're busy, but because you have clear priorities. I encourage you to replace the word busy with when. Now, uh, in the dialogue, you can't do that. How are you doing? Well, when? You can't just replace it there in the concept, in the conversation, but you can in your head. So rather than say, man, I'm really busy. I don't know when I'll get there. Just tell yourself, okay, when am I going to do that? When does it get to, on the calendar? When does it make the top of the priority list? So if we shift that in our head, we've got a better chance and we're banishing the B word. And the last one is, when you feel busy, write it all down. Now, some of you are like me who are list makers. Others are not. But it's without question that on the days when you have the most to do, you make a list. Some people make them all the time, have 25 lists going on. But the point is that when we get things out of our head and write them down, they get clearer. It helps us focus. It helps us prioritize. And it helps us figure out what really needs to be done, what's really actually there. So when you feel busy, write it all down. Take that five minutes to write it down. It will actually make you more effective with all the rest of it. So let me be clear. I know you've got a lot on your plate. I know you've got a lot going on. But I also know that if you're watching this or if you've watched other videos with me, you want to be more effective, you want to be more productive, and you really don't want to make excuses. I believe that the people that are watching this do get more done than most others. And busy doesn't help us. Let's, let's banish the B word, shall we? Let me close with today's tweet. Busy is an excuse and not a very good one. Decide what you are going to do and do it rather than explaining and rationalizing why you aren't getting it done. Did you realize that every single week I'm right here shooting another video, making another video available to you to help you become the leader you were born to be? Yep, we call it Remarkable TV and we're here every week. You can sign up on this page so that you get a reminder every week or you can just come back here and watch me every single week right here on Remarkable TV.